Isabel. There's so much I have to tell you. I guess I should start with how your mother and I met. Will you get back here! No! Don't you ever tell me no! What's yours? I'm Melody Daniels. This is my dance studio. Have you been here before, sweetie? Oh, um, no, ma'am. My daddy, he, um, no, I've never been here. Well, you're welcome anytime. Thank you. Would you like a snack? Uh huh. <laughs> It's a mixture of ballet, but it's also really wow. like... Wow. <laughs> yes, it's nice, isn't it? Yes. Do you think I could take some lessons too? I think that could be arranged. I'll need to talk to your parents first, though. Um, okay, but we can't afford lessons. That we could work something out. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> Everywhere for you. Now, where you been? Daddy, this is Moldy Daniels. She's a dance teacher. Was worried sick. Get on to your room, Sammy. Bye, bye, Miss Moldy. Bye, nice Sammy. You. It was nice meeting you, honey. I'm Barry, Barry Jones. I'm Melody Daniels. I own the dance studio downtown that your um that little Sammy found today. She's a really cute little girl. How old is she? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Well, would it be okay if she came to the dance studio again? Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, I, I can't pay for any dance classes right now, though. No. Oh, no, no. I want her to come help. <laughs> to help? Well, yeah, she can help me out and help teach some of the younger kids. I'd pay her with lessons in exchange for it. I think it'd be a really good opportunity for her. Uh, yeah, I, I guess that'd be okay. Thanks for helping out. She hasn't had a lot of attention since her mom left. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's no problem at all, Mr. Jim. Just Barry, just call me Barry. Well, it was really nice meeting you, Barry.
everything okay? I just got your message. Everything's fine. Did you leave court? Yes, of course I left court. Your message said it was important. Oh, What's everything, wrong? Everything is more than fine, actually. Oh, Sammy, you remember my husband's app? Hi. Hi, so <laughs> what is it? What's the news? Slow down, I'm telling you. Well? Are you, are you sure? Do you want to see the stick? I want to see the <laughs> stick! <laughs> I'm going to be a father! <laughs> Melanie, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> oh, I've been dying to tell you all day, but I want back here had a right to know first. I love you. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Can you believe it? No. We've been trying for so long. <sighs> it's gonna be amazing. Finally happening. Family. <laughs> like that and we'll be singing on Broadway. You really think so? Anything's possible, Sammy. You yeah. know that. But that won't be happening anytime soon. let me inside. Now's not a really good time. But I was hoping to meet your parents. But why? Because they need to know that you're going to be a father. What? I thought, I thought you were on birth control. Yeah, and I thought you'd be happy about this. We could be family now, just the three of us. Happy? Uh, you're not actually thinking about keeping that thing, are you? Brian, we need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. You, no, you, you need to leave. Now. Just, just, just leave. Crazy old bat! Your throat sucks! <laughs> Good morning! 
Lord, help us with that, Sammy. Watch over her. That's right, Zeus. You and me got to be watching over Sammy. What did you plan on telling me? Did you honestly think I wouldn't find out? Huh? Where do you think you're going? Now there's no denying this. And you are never gonna see that dance teacher again. But Daddy, I'm No, I'm serious. You're not gonna talk to her again. Ever. And you you better forget about dance. Yeah, you pulled a good one this time, huh? Do you even know who the daddy is? <laughs> yeah, I bet not. How... How did you find out? School called. You got a real nice counselor. I bet she's hot, too. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to meet her. Mrs. Harrington? Yeah, Harrington. Yeah, that's the one. She sounded really sweet on the phone. Just shut up. Just shut your mouth. You have gone and ruined your life. Do you even realize what you've done? Daddy, please, I... I told you to shut up! <laughs> I'm so stupid. I could have done this. I'm smarter than this. Stupid Brian. How could I think that he'd really love a loser like me? I can't believe I thought he'd marry me just because I'm having his baby. Should get taken care of. I wonder if I would even remember. I wonder if my dad would even remember. Or even care. <laughs> Doubt it. But it's a baby. And it's my baby. You can't just kill it because it's murder. This might be a good thing. <sighs> who knows? Maybe I could finally have someone who will love me. <sighs> Even if no one wants me, I could still have a family. <sighs> I could still be a mother. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna be a mother. I can do this.
really spot your turns. Nice. Oh, lovely, lovely girls. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Lovely page. Beautiful. Beautiful ladies. Beautiful. Oh, very nice work, ladies. Good job. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Nice work. Wonderful. Great job. Sammy, I need you to stay. I need to speak with you a minute. Way to go, loser. Show up late. Sorry I was late. I just got tied up with some homework. Sammy, I've known you for five years, kiddo. You want to tell me what's really going on? Like I said, homework. And I don't know. I don't feel so great. I think it might have something. Something like a baby? What? You left this here the other day. Sweetie, why didn't you just tell me? I didn't want you to know. Oh, sweetie, it's okay. Oh, you just made a mistake, that's all. It's all gonna be okay, honey. What do you mean? I mean that it's all gonna be fine, honey. Look, my sister's an adoption counselor. I'll take you over there tomorrow, and she's gonna help you find a great family for your baby, okay? No. Who do you think you are? I didn't make a mistake. I wanted to get pregnant. Sammy, I don't understand. You mean you wanted this? Yeah, I knew what I was doing. I want a baby. Sammy, you were in middle school. You're too young to raise a baby. Leave me alone. Sammy! your decision to raise a baby at age 14, but if you're determined to do this, then I'm going to be there for you 100% of the way. Thanks. You don't have to do it alone. <laughs> Sounds like somebody had a light lunch today. Yeah, I was, wasn't hungry today. You haven't eaten all day? No. Oh, Sammy, you have to take care of your body. I'd be on your case regardless, but... Especially now that you're pregnant and what you eat is really important. It's one of the gifts that you give to your baby. Gifts? <laughs> Taking care of yourself is, is one of the gifts that you give your baby. Just like food or toys or clothing. Yeah, I guess. Is there any more other gifts? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the biggest gift is just love and everything else comes from that. Hey, I have an idea. Let's skip your lesson today. What? Why? Because I have a better idea. Come on. <laughs> okay, help the pregnant lady up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks, hon.
Hey, we just kicked. You wanna feel? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I know. Little Bo Sifa is quite the fighter. You're naming your kid Bo Sifa? <laughs> no. Zach and I can't agree on a name, so we've been joking that if we can't decide on one, we're just gonna go with Bo Sifa. <laughs> Bo Sifa. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Sammy. What's this? Oh, it's nothing. I just bumped into a wall. Well, you better be more careful, honey. I will. Hey, can we talk about something? I don't want you to think I'm getting all preachy on you or anything. It's okay. Anything. Well, I just really wanted to tell you how proud I am of you and what a strong, beautiful young woman you've become. I'm not strong or beautiful. Yes, you are silly. I don't like hearing that kind of talk out of you. What you're doing takes a lot of courage. And, and Sammy, who you are as a person is who you're going to be as a mother. Let me tell you, that baby is getting a wonderful mother. <laughs> Your baby is too. <laughs> thanks. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, kiddo. Great work today. All right, thanks, bye. <laughs> bye. Melody and I need to talk to her. I'm sorry, sweetie. Melody is I need to see her. She's very sick. Is Honey, you know? Yes, Sammy. We lost the baby. Anything good on TV tonight? What do you care? Daddy, I do love you, you know. <sighs> nah, whatever. No, there's nothing good on, no ball games, nothing. Good. Can we talk? I talk all the time. Listening, that, that's the words you're looking for. Okay. Can you listen for a minute? You're the one that, you need to listen. Daddy, I'm serious. All right, fine, go ahead. I'm, I'm scared about having a baby. <laughs> yeah, I should have thought about that before. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to yourself? You're a hardworking man, a good provider for us. We used to do stuff together. Why can't you just go look, back to being? Look, I know where this is going. Okay, I. I choose to do this. Okay, I, I need this. I, I need... Look, when, you, when your mother left, I felt like trash, okay? Like, like nothing even mattered anymore. hurt so bad, Sammy. I, I didn't want that anymore. No more, Sammy. No, no more hurt. I know, Daddy. I no, no, you don't, okay? Look, there's something I gotta say to you. Your mother loved you very much. And the next thing I knew, she was just gone. She left us both, Sam. Now, me, I... I can understand me, but you, that's when I swore I would never leave you. Why didn't you? Just listen to what I'm saying, okay? Look, this isn't my problem. You are my problem. After everything I've done for you, you go and get yourself knocked up?
Melody, what are you doing here? It's only been a week. You need more time. And I feel so bad for you and Zach. If there's anything I could do to help. That's... We're fine. I mean, we're... We're getting through it. You've already been a really big help for me. I mean, you've been teaching for me and taking care of the studio, so... Thank you. I love it, so... <laughs> yeah. So how are you doing? Any morning sickness? How do you do it? How do I do what? Stay so strong. How can you think about me after what you just gone through? I lost someone very precious to me, but, um, but so are you, and so is your baby. Have you thought of a name yet? Yeah. Posita. Check it out. Figured I better get busy if I'm gonna be a um, grandpa. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Daddy. So, you're okay with this now? Uh, no, not not really. But I'll get used to it. I don't want to see you in trouble. You didn't drink today, did you? It's none of your business. Where'd you get this stuff? Daddy, it's my birthday. Remember? Melody threw me a party. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Had so much on my mind, I must have forgot. Looks like you did all right for yourself, though. Sorry I can't afford no fancy presents like them rich friends of yours. Daddy, they were just being nice. We don't need their charity, okay? Yeah, poor little Sammy Jones. You probably worked them over really good. They're my friends. You're going to take this stuff back tomorrow, okay? You're not going to see them again, ever. You're about to be a mom. That is your job now. You don't need that dance crap. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. I can't believe you forgot my birthday. Not the first time, though. And why is he doing this for the baby? He can't be serious about helping me, can he? Oh, no. I can't let him run the baby. What have I done? Now be both of us living like this. I can't let that happen. I won't let that happen. Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I need you to, um, I thought about it, and I think it's the best way, and it's the only way, so I just really need you okay, to. Okay, sweetie, what are you talking about, honey? I want you to, uh, adopt the baby. What? I thought I could be a good mother and raise the baby, but I can't give my baby the life that you and Zach could. Are you sure about this, Sammy? Yes, definitely. Please say you'll do it, Melody. Oh, sweetheart, it means so much to me that you want me and Zach to adopt the baby. But I need some time to talk it over with him, okay? Okay. Okay. Wanna go change and help me out today? Um, yeah, sure. I'll see you after class. Okay. Oh, 
so surprised when Sammy asked us to adopt the baby, you know? She was really determined that she was going to keep it. It's a difficult situation. So what do you think we should do? I don't know. Mel, you know I want a family. And we tried for so long, and now it just seems like we might actually have a chance. But is there any reason why we shouldn't? Zach, I want a family too, but I don't know. I just I always thought we'd have kids of our own that in my eyes and your goofy laugh. I have a goofy laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean, silly. I know. But what's really bothering you? I don't know. I guess I just... I'm scared something's gonna go wrong. Like, what if Sammy miscarries or changes her mind and we lose this baby too? Look. I can't do it again, Zach. I think God had to pull some pretty big strings to get this baby to the right family. I just feel like this child is meant for us. Yeah. Hmm? I think so, too. We're not going to lose this one. Love you. I've been thinking about what you said. Wait out here. I'm not ready to be a mom. So, I decided to give the baby up for adoption. After everything I've done for you, I even built you a baby bed, and now this? Have you lost your mind? What are you doing to her? You get out of here! No, this is all your fault. What is going on out here? Have we met? I'm Zach Daniels. I wouldn't so let Melody my dog doesn't... Zeus go in that house. Well, I'm Melody's husband. I'm friends with Sammy. Um, Do you know who I'm talk... talking about? I'm talking about Barry. That son of a bitch. The way he treats that poor Sammy is just wrong. And you let your woman in there? You need to fuck up, counselor. How'd you know I was an attorney? I ain't stupid, you know. I can read. And I see your ugly mug all over the newspaper. You're gonna have to excuse me. Zeus, what is going on here? We've got to do something. Come on. You can go. You get out of here. This is all your fault. <laughs> Sammy, get off here. Barry. What? Huh? Sammy. We're gonna make it where you can never hurt your Sammy. daughter. You're never gonna be able to hurt her again. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that for 14 years. Go get Sammy and get out of here. Thank you. Hurry up, go. Come on, Sammy, let's go. I'll call the cops on the way. You might want to get out of here too. Sammy. Hey. You okay, sweetie? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Honey, I am so sorry. 
We had no idea that he was hitting you. Okay. I didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> Why were you two at my house anyways? Well, we actually came by to give you an answer. We want to adopt your baby. <laughs> oh, really? That's great. Well, you two are the best parents my baby could ever have. We do have a problem, though. You see, we both work, and so we're going to need a lot of help taking care of the baby. We were hoping that you might consider coming to live here, too. Like the baby's nanny? Because I would love that. <laughs> well, not exactly. No, as her big sister. Seriously? Yes. I just talked to the judge, and um, he's granted us temporary custody. Now, we want to adopt you, too. I want you to be a part of our family. You already are. We just want to make it legal so no one can ever take you away from us. We love you, kiddo. What is it, sweetie? Can I, uh, take your guys' last name? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that might be able to be arranged. <laughs> Group hug. <laughs> Ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you buying? Who else is going to buy? <laughs> hey, I run a dance studio. You're always buying. <laughs> and so, my dearest Isabel, even though I brought you into this world, I give you two parents who love you as I do and give you a life that I never could. As your mother, that was my last gift to you. But as your big sister, well. This guy never shoots outside the paint. Daddy gets really into he doesn't even basketball make it when he does. Daddy's not. Daddy's silly. Daddy loves the game. Is Daddy silly? Yes, he is. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go see Sammy. Sammy, Sammy. Hi, Isabel. <laughs> what have I done? There's no Never. Mm -hmm.